Alright, now check it. I don't know if you've seen my video when I compare the Moto Jitsu system uh, with the Ride Like a Pro system. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. You can go ahead and check that out for yourself. But basically I said, if you take these two programs and you combine them, I just feel like that is going to just bring you to another level it's definitely brought my skills to another level i'm still working on it you know i'm still you know i still consider myself kind of like a beginner but anyway um here's an example of what i'm going to be doing today what i'm going to be practicing by practicing uh and, and combining the two systems this is just one example of many to come all right so now check this out i've got this is all from jerry paladino's uh ride like a pro uh field guide right so i've got these i'm going to be doing the cone weave right i've got these tennis balls they are 12 feet apart all right so i'm going to be like basically weaving in and out right and then what i'm going to do is over here when i get to the end over here i'm going to do a u-turn now between the end of this parking space and the end of that parking space is approximately 18 feet so i mean if i clear if i clear it great if i don't no big deal right because that's not the thing but then i'm going to come over here and i'm going to do the offset cone weave from moto jitsu so now you'll notice that the the cones and tennis balls in this case is um at 15 feet apart but right at at the first at, at each at each other on every other 15 feet right it's offset this one is by three feet and this one is by five feet this is white belt moto jitsu this is blue belt so i'm gonna see i'm gonna try to hit the 15 i mean the five feet and i'm gonna just keep going and uh you know weave in back and forth all right, so now, you know, just like when you're doing an exercise, you should warm up, right? A great warm-up exercise for something like this is uh, something that I like to do, and that's just a controlled wobble. So basically, all you're doing is just like, just, just cruising, and then you're just kind of wobbling the bike like this, but you're maintaining your body straight, right? And you're just letting the bike lean. Now, in the beginning, right, when you start doing that, for especially for real beginners, right? You're probably not going to wobble that much because you're going to be nervous, right? But as you get more confident and as you, you know, get better at right, you know, just get better, your skills improve, you know, you're going to notice that you're going to start leaning that bike a lot more. But the whole point is to keep your body straight and you lean the bike, okay? So I'll demonstrate that and then I'm just going to go right into the drill, all right? All right, so my lapel mic for some reason was failing, so you couldn't hear anything I was saying. But anyway, the idea here is just to wobble the bias, the uh, motorcycle uh, from the left to the right, all right? Kind of like how I'm demonstrating here. Now, I'm using this as a warm-up, but this is actually a really great way to gradually learn how to lean the bike. Now, if you're a beginner rider, it's you're not going to lean the bike that much, but you can gradually work up to that, right? So this is what I'm... This is what it probably would look like, right? As a beginner rider, that's that's probably how you would start, and then you would gradually build up to, you know, leaning the bike from left to right more and more as your skills progress. All right, so now I just jump right into the slow cone weave from Ride Like a Pro. Obviously, I'm still a little cold. I'm still a little stiff. I need to lean the bike a little bit more, you know. Um, and here's Moto Jitsu's uh, blue belt level offset cone weave. Now, I remember when I was struggling with the white belt level, and um, I thought it was impossible to do this with a Road King. But this is blue belt level here. And at the end of the day, I was so happy with myself that I was able to accomplish that. Um, I, I just thought it couldn't be done. Now you can tell that I'm leaning a little bit more on the slow cone weave, but still need some more practice on that, you know. And here's the blue belt level on Moto Jitsu. I do consider this to be uh, really hard, actually, especially when you're starting out. But as you can see, it can be done. It can be done. That is, that is a huge, huge improvement from the first time that I was comparing the uh, Moto Jitsu system and the Ride Like a Pro system. I mean, a huge, huge improvement. And I, I haven't been riding for the past few months because the weather has been crappy. But I have to say, I am like super happy 
and I'm gonna go ahead and practice this a little bit more um, just you know by myself here but I mean this is a great way to just take those two systems which I feel are, are, are the best and combine the two and uh, you could, it just is awesome so anyway uh, God bless you guys I'll see you at the next video